on the main straight, up on the hill as well. Here they go, ladies and gentlemen. How about some noise, Archerfield? Come on, May straight away. Up you get. Let's hear you out there. Everybody on the hill, down into turn one and up the hill in turn one and two. Stick your hands in the air, make some noise. The greatest show on Aussie dirt. High tech oils. World Series Sprint Cars. Johnson to square away. Ah, got the jump down into turn one. We're yellow already. Cameron Kessner has turned the 68. So Cameron already at the back of the field anyway. Incidentally to Tony Crux's daughter. You've got to clean the oven yourself apparently. Here we go. To go green. Johnson. Far again. It's a good start on the bottom. Johnson comes out from another high line. Oh, Rico Abu! Through the second. The challenge for the look now. Johnson back on the outside. Abu! The American is in the lead. Far back to second, though he powers back around the top to get the number one spot. Abu on the bottom. Far on the high side. Johnson in third. Shots in the... Back to Lyons, back to Foley, back to Tatnum, back to Reedy, back to McFadden. Lack, then back to Anderson, Dumsby, Warfield, Cross, Shirley, Schaefer, and yes. Watching Lyons, he jumped the cushion, lost a stack of ground on shots. 16 to go, Robbie Fahey, your leader. Through in dense traffic, he's got Shirley working on him across on the outside. 15 to go as Robbie Barr by the length of the main train. Over Rico and Roo. Third spot is Jason Johnson. Fourth position is Donny Shots. Long way back in fifth is Stephen Payne. Jason Johnson through the second. Past the blue, coming up turn four. Tackle. Going by Foley, Nick McFadden on the high side, goes by Foley as well. That ain't to go, yellows are on, Jeremy Cross is spun. In turn number two. Lights out, time to get up there. Far to pick him up, we're green. Look at the move. Whoa! Whoa! That was close. A move almost passed Johnson before the witch is at. It was side by side almost with him. Shots now moves in the third. Johnny shots in the third behind Johnson. Tatnell in behind the move. Shots. Going for the inside line on Johnson with 12 to go. Johnny Shots is coming. He looks ominous early. He's using the bottom. Got the wing cut back. And he's very smooth off the pedal. McBattle the lines. Having no battle. Sackle gets a run of the boot. Can't get by. Still back in fifth. The Aussie champ. Shots again. Tippering away on the bottom while Johnson runs the cushion. Battles away. This battle in behind him in second is helping Lines back it up just a bit. Try to put the battle. We could go yellow. Here we go. It's oh, all Robbie Farr. Oh, no. Robbie Farr. He couldn't get out of the way of Alford who stopped. 
And now Robbie Farr will have to go to the rear. Oh, you don't have to be dead to be stiff. Farr is so unlucky. Has to go to the rear. He was leading and looked so good. Oh, unbelievable scenes for Robbie. He looks filthy about it, as well you would expect. Let's break through and get into the top three. Lights out. Jason Johnson to lead away at the green. Shots comes after him on the bottom. James McCann on the high line. Coming after Tuttle. He's locked. Picks up the spot. Tuttle goes back to fifth. Turn four. Danny Reedy leaving the number five. Very disappointed. His form's been good tonight. You just can't believe the bad luck this guy can have at times. Very quick tonight. Look, Racy using the top with some confidence. That Desert Palms Resort, number five, J and J. Aussie to the top three, it's not going to happen while those guys are having a crack at each other. They've got their own races to worry about. Lines still in dearly love to get this tonight. So here we go. Back underway. Johnson, your leader, shots goes immediately. Lines tries the same thing with McFadden. A brew runs over the cushion and Tattle goes to third. McFadden on the cushion behind me. Rick and Rick coming back in tackle. Oh, James McFadden got them both on the high line. Johnson checking out from shots. McFadden in third. Tackle in fourth. Now Lloyd's coming at Rick and Rick. your field your feature race winner tonight Jason Johnson smooth drive didn't put a wheel wrong stayed committed to that cushion and wraps up the preliminary A main for high tech oils world series sprint cars round nine night one at super cheap Archerfield Speedway Jason just said was he close 
Just asking Bobby what the situation was. We'll get into the cockpit here with the giant screen. Nice job, Hainsey. Happy smile. Well done. Finally stems what has been a frustrating run of outs for the 47 team. We got a trophy, man, says Bobby. Donny Shots home in that second spot and James McFadden finishing very quickly in the totally work where number 25, cool. So we'll let James jump out real quick and his boss wanders by to check how the motor side of things is going. Kenny Mack. There's girlfriends and partners and all sorts of things everywhere here at the moment. So let's put our hands together, folks, for third place tonight, driving the number 25 car, James McFadden. You can shake his hand if you want it. You do that just, yeah, do that in a minute. Good job, mate. You're coming towards the end. You've really got to run on. Yeah, mate, uh, Glenn gave me a great car, and uh, I, wish, I wish this was a 50 lap, but we, we started coming on good, and, uh, yeah, great track. Uh, I love this joint. It's awesome. Yeah, you're using the top very nicely. They had a really good run with Brooke again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good fun. You, you can always race him clean and, you know, you run wheel to wheel in there and that's not going to be an issue. Great job to uh, Jason and Donnie. They, they were good all night. And let's just hope we can get this car up, starting up the front tomorrow night and give it a good crack. See you tomorrow night. Thank you. James McFadden, good job for third. Second place tonight, driving the Prosser Toyota Monty Motorsports J&J. Please put your hands together for Donnie Shots, everyone. Donnie, you had that top wing tugged way back towards the end, just trying to get a hold of something there, it looked like. Yeah, I uh, keep playing here, and I guess it's, uh, it's not doing me a lot of good, but um, I guess it's, it's, uh, it's a good way to start, end the night. Uh, we'd like to got a win, but tomorrow night's an important night. 50 laps is going to be huge. Absolutely. You used the bottom for quite a while on Jason just to try and water divine, trying to find something down there. Well, there's guys that can just roll around the cushion. That's what they do, and uh, it's not really my style. I mean, I can get up there and go on it too, but you see what happens when you get up on it. So... Uh, Tried to make something happen. You weren't going to pass him on the top. He's not going to make a mistake up there. So you got to do something else. And that uh, didn't really work our way. See you tomorrow night. All right, you will. Yes, that's when the big money's up. That's when Donny Shots gets elbows up, that's for sure. What a tremendous result for this team. They've had a heartbreaking run of outs. Quite a few upside downs. And it's good to see a smile back on this man's face. Your feature race winner for tonight's preliminary, A-Main, Jason Johnson. Oh, man. Good, get up this trophy. You gotta get used to this thing again. It's these trophies. They're, they're nice. Pack it up. <laughs> That's better. Much better. You gotta be happy with that. I'll tell you what, it just, um, you know, it really shows how strong of a, a team Alan Haynes assembled. We were struggling. We are down and out just a couple days ago. And it's just a uh, team effort. Everybody's digging. Brendan's working hard. He's thinking. Um, GT's working his tail off. As we even got Alan helping out. So uh, just a great team effort. Uh, I wanna say. It's a very special day today because it's Denim's birthday, which is Lisa's daughter. So I want to tell her a happy birthday and, uh, you know, congratulations. Get a win on her birthday. Jason, you had Donnie peppering away on the bottom on that low groove. You must have sent him down there a few times. Oh, I did. And, uh, you know, I really wasn't too concerned in open track. I felt like the, the top was so dominant that, like, he couldn't get a run on me. But where I was really nervous was on them restarts. You know, I didn't uh, – I knew he was going to try to pull a big slider on me. And, uh, I mean, he's – you know, there's a reason why he's a four-time World of Outlaw champion. So, I don't know. I just started crisscrossing down there and changing up my restarts just uh, to try to stop him from getting a run on me. That was my only chance to do it. And, uh, you know, it just, it just worked out. You know, that bloke over your shoulder there is big on confidence. Your confidence has been down a little bit. Now it must be back up to where you need it. Well, we're definitely working on it. I mean, when you have years like James is having this year, you know, it makes racing a lot of fun. And, and we had those years. We had those years two years ago and uh, just couldn't do no wrong by no means. And, you know, it's a, it's a shame that Robbie got caught up with the lap car because I think Robbie was just as strong as we were, if not a little bit stronger, to be quite honest. And um, just sometimes that's the way the crookie crumbles, and, uh, you know, we like to have luck on our side every once in a while. Good to see you return to the winner's circle. Jason Johnson, Donnie Schatz, and James McFadden, your feature race podium tonight for the preliminary A-Main. JJ Manif will grab them for the TV here shortly for Speed Check. Bob, big thank you to you for your great support tonight. Looking forward to tomorrow night, mate. We put the big bucks on the line. 20 large, thank you very much. And 50 times around in little circles, the super cheap Archerfield Speedway. Thanks on behalf of High Tech Oils, all the sponsors of World Series Sprint Cars. Please leave this speeding to us. Bob, good night. See you tomorrow, mate. Thank you very much, Wade. Good night, everybody.